Machu Picchu? What is Machu Picchu? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Good morning guys, this is part 2 of Exploring London and in this video I'll be showing you again some of my choices of attractions and monuments, maybe restaurants, best spots you could take some pictures, panoramic views, everything you need to know while you visit London. Right now I'm in St. Catherine Stocks which is a marina basically, a really nice area to maybe start your day with a breakfast or after a tour from your Tower of London come here have a dinner or something and relax after a long day I was also planning to fly my drone eventually but there are a lot of restrictions around London so I think I will leave it at the end when I reach to Pirmos Hill so let's move on right next to the St. Catherine Dock you got the care with the dolphin which is a nice place where you could take some nice pictures with the tower bridge behind it a very iconic of London and right next to tower bridge over the other side which I'm about to go later on is the Tower of London so usually you are able to climb up there and it's a nice experience but as I mentioned I will be doing it in a different day when the pandemic is over and when everything is back to normal After crossing the bridge, I decided I would go in a circle and go towards the Shard and then cross the Millennium Bridge, pass the St. Paul Cathedral and do a round and come again here on the London Tower. And from there, I will head up upwards towards London Zoo, past Sherlock Holmes Museum, Captain Town, maybe British Museum we'll see how the day goes it's still 10 o'clock so i've got plenty of time and i wanted to see the borough market which unfortunately is closed because it's sunday but we will come again anyway in another day and i believe it's one of the most expensive countries if you want to see attraction because everything costs a lot we almost there it takes about 10 minutes to get from the tower bridge to the shot which is right here and i think we need to pass through the train station and end up to the shot so let's go so next to me is the shot one of the tallest buildings in uk and also the seventh tallest in europe which is huge you cannot even see the top from here but it holds some of the best offices and restaurants in this building also if you want to see those breathtaking views you need to buy a ticket which is a bit expensive i think it's about 25 pounds it's okay it's the normal price of the attraction here in london four minutes from there and exactly opposite the london bridge station we have the borough market which of course the gates are closed i don't know why it's sunday they should have been opening the place on Sundays but it's UK so you never know maybe I think it's because it's a pandemic and they close on Sundays I have no idea so let's see what's next I'm not quite sure where I am but I know for sure I will be heading towards this way and I will end up to the Shakespeare's Globe which is a theater and I'm next to the river you can see St. Paul Cathedral. We will be going around 
there soon and also behind me it's the shard and a nice restaurant next to it for a picture so i really enjoy my time here walking and not going to the attractions but still i would like visiting those attractions but if you want to follow my plan go ahead it's a nice i think itinerary and maybe you can adjust it based on your time and based on your energy you can even rent a bike if you are not into walking and i didn't saw any scooters to rent but maybe you could do that also it's up to you so let's move on and i will see you in a bit i'm now outside the shakespeare's globe which is also an educational center and i believe most likely it's for theater hi there what exactly it's open so it's a guided yeah. tour of the theatre for 50 minutes and they're every hour on the hour until 4 o'clock today. So it's only with guides? Yes, yeah. Yeah, there's no walking around it. Why it's called Shakespeare's Globe? So it's a recreation of the original Globe Theatre yeah. from 1599. Um, it's been built in exactly the same way. You get a lot of history on the tour about the way it's been built, why it's been built, the theatre. How much will it cost for someone to enter? £18.70. Okay, thank you for that. Have a great day. See ya. Bye bye. So I'm under the Tate Modern Museum, and this tower, I believe, it should be free to go up because the entrance is free as all of the museums are free. I'm now crossing the Millennium Bridge which is a very famous bridge and played in many movies and it's exactly opposite St. Paul Cathedral so we go across and then turn and end up towards the London Tower and from there we'll move on to some other attractions. Also an interesting fact about this bridge it has on the floor 400 of tiny art which most likely you will miss them even if you are from UK maybe you didn't even know about this fact and look at these views from here so St Paul Cathedral is been here over 1400 years and also it's on the highest point of the city that's what Google says so really impressive cathedral you could go inside and pray but it's not allowed to film or anything and it's not open for tourism yet but still from outside is really worth visiting and coming and see this amazing structure and architecture of London One of the spots you could take some picture is between here many people just come here to take picture with background the St. Paul and also they use the elevator to go up and get some stunning views and some pictures I'm leaving now from Gok Darjan it's a roof bar really nice one but they didn't have any tables so I can just sit and have a drink I didn't want to have food yet so I'm leaving from here and continue exploring London. I also was thinking to go to one change, but I changed my mind. So I left from there, came here, but still there's no tables available to just have a drink. So let's see where the road will lead us. I'm at the monument of the Great Fire of London, also known as Monument. And in this tower, you could even climb on the top for only five pounds. And let me tell you a little bit about this tower is to commemorate the Great Fire of London 
1666, the fire burned from 2 to 5 September, devastating two thirds of the city and destroyed 13,200 houses, 87 churches, and 52 livery company halls. So that's the monument about commemorating all that devastating fire that happened in London. Now I'm crossing the London Bridge, which I will go back. I'm just crossing to show you some views that you have from the London Bridge. And I always confuse the London Bridge with the Tower Bridge. I don't know why, but here it's just a simple bridge. Nothing exciting to see, only the views through the bridge. So I think I will head back and then show you one of the best restaurants in my opinion that when it opens you could go and visit which is sky garden and you get some amazing views of london and from there i believe i will head to tower of london and then explore different area because we done the circle and now we need to go up so see you in a bit i always was wondering about this huge building here which has also a bit of curve and it's the one that we was looking for the sky garden which is also closed because of the pandemic and everything actually opens next week in london but my work also opens next week so it was the only time that i could have spent and explore london in my own time and see better the place So this right here is the Coba Club, a nice cozy restaurant and it's not because of the pandemic that they made it, the, it was always here. Uh, you got the view opposite with the tower bridge, the, the shard, the river, really nice to come here, especially in Christmas. And we back in Tower of London, we made our circle, but first, let me grab a coffee. The Tower of London is a 900 year old medieval castle which was being used as a royal palace, prison, armory and even a royal zoo. Mention is the zoo, you can see some of the animals there. Those was the type of animals that was here for 600 years from 12th century to 1835 and those animals now are being in the London Zoo which will pass maybe later another fact regarding this tower the most important part of this tower that most people go for is the crown of jewels which are the jewels of the queens and the jewels that have been here there for so many years it has over 23,000 jewels and it can take about 3 hours to go around all of the tower 22 executions happened to this place also there are some ravens inside which the myth says if the ravens leave the tower the tower and the kingdom will fall two more facts and the rest you can read them in google it's been said that the tower is a haunted house and also that the building and the grounds were damaged during the world war ii but they repaired it and then they reopened it to the public something that i forgot to show you or even mention it's the bullet tower that tower there known as 30 st mary or the kirkin it's just a skyscraper of london and a financial building most likely maybe it's a business building offices and stuff so they just mention it Accidentally got the wrong train, so I wasted one hour, but there's no problem. Nobody rushes us. I'm just taking my time walking, seeing the attractions, but it's fine. 
Uh, right now I'm in Madame Dussault. Actually, I'm outside Madame Dussault. I'm just passing so I can see myself and I can show you also. So, Madame Dussault, it just works figures of celebrities. If something that interests you, I believe London Madame Dussault is one of the best ones. So, if you want to get in here, the best way you could do it is look for deals and it will cost you cheaper if you combine maybe Life C, Madame Dussault and London Eye, it will cost you less more money. So let's move on and I believe now I will go towards the Sherlock Museum. I'm now outside to one of the most famous addresses which is made for the fictional Sherlock Holmes in London and this is it, the 221 Baker Street and you got also the museum and I presume these things here it's in the museum which I'm not quite sure what you will see in the museum I didn't read about that but yeah this is the area and it's close to Madame Dussault also and to the hill that we are going to and also to the London Zoo from Sherlock Holmes straight ahead there is a big park which I have no idea the name of it and I saw some boats you can see some boats there you can pedal them and go around the lake there's a lot of people here but we need to rush because the sun is setting down and we need some good pictures at Pimrose Hill that's where I'm heading and I will be passing also London Zoo which is on the other side London Zoo it's about 22-25 minutes from here and to get to Pimrose Hill we will pass anyway through London Zoo right now it's about I think 7 o'clock so I don't got time to stop and do anything else so it's Pimrose Hill then maybe it's Captain Town and from there we'll see depending on our energy and on the time I'm doing really good I've done most of the things I wanted to do the only thing that left like for the highlight is reach to Pimrose Hill get my pictures and see if I can fly the drone before it gets dark so see you soon this park never ends and imagine I believe we will need also time to go up the Pimrose Hill but this park is a maze seriously on our right is the entrance of Lando Zoo so I need to rush now and go to Pimrose Hill that was an exercise but the views are amazing people are just chilling talking that's definitely something to put on your list I think I'm allowed to fly the drone based on the FAA map so let's give it a go I did manage to fly my drone took some quick video because I tried to take some panoramic pictures but I couldn't because of the restrictions and it was saying I was allowed and the max altitude was 150 meters but for some reason it keeps saying restrictions and restrictions and it couldn't let me take pictures and so I landed the drone and I said that's it off we go time to have some food I am hungry I am tired so now we are heading down and going towards Campton Town where there's a variety of restaurants pubs you name it it's really nice area I really love it but I will show you also the place so you have an idea what Camden Town looks like. Oh, look at these beautiful houses that I came across. Camden Town is about 8 minutes. So maybe let's say 15 minutes from Pimrose Hill. So I think this is a part of Little Venice which I believe I didn't came on my previous video but 
Look how nice it is. You could get some boats go along the uh, river or whatever that is. So now I'm heading to. Hello. <laughs> so I'm heading now to another recommendation restaurant, Shaka Zulu, which I believe I got it confused. Also, again, on my previous video with Jingana, because of the decoration, I think this is it. The one that I believe it's well decorated and really worth it. Basically, Shaka Zulu is an Africa restaurant, which I was trying to find, but I couldn't find it. And now I'm going to show you another option, which is Bobby's, and it's a very well-known fish and chips restaurant. Because of our time, all of the shops are closing now but usually it's packed and you can find everything a lot of souvenirs actually and there is one place that I usually go whenever I come here so let me find the poppies first and then we will head up to that area and I'm outside Bobby's Fish and Chips Hi there! Uh, can I order? Why Bobby's fish and chips are famous? <laughs> okay, I want one fish and chips. Fish and chips? Yeah. And also one savaloy. Yeah. Machu is the best fish and chips. Machu Picchu? What is Machu You know the Machi? Ah, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it doesn't look. You, like it? you can put me on the side and I could maybe show it. Okay, I will give you just a try. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, 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 I don't think so. I would like it. Enjoy. Thank you. We will see if it's good as they say. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. You come back. I will tell you from the review. Yes. Thank you. So let's find a place now that we can have our fish and chips. While I was looking for a place to just sit and have my fish and chips, I found the Shaka Zulu. So imagine, even from outside, it looks amazing. So I think inside, can we see anything? No, we cannot see anything. Okay, this is the place when I remember with the shops, but everyone is packing now because Sunday and I think now maybe it's nine o'clock now I have no idea seriously I wish you could smell oh the fish and chips I decided I'm taking them home which I will show you as soon as I get home what it's like and tell you how it tastes finally home guys I got everything ready here and it's been a long day at least today i done only 25 kilometers so that's not bad doesn't taste anything let's try the fish let's check be waiting for one hour for to try this even cold no jokes it tastes amazing Hundred mm. percent worth the thirteen pounds. I need to end the vlog, enjoy my food, so you don't see me eating like this. And thank you guys for watching. I hope my itinerary gave you some ideas of what to do in London when you come. And this is it guys if it's something that you want me to change with my vlogs let me know so i can improve and change few things thank you again and see you on the next one